Yo, what's good homies and welcome back to another Rugby League Life 4 video. We are back looking at teams and uh, looking at jerseys, player ratings and uh, their likenesses. So one thing I've noticed is that um, while going through them, not every NRL player is done. Maybe there were players that weren't there on media day or whatever it was. A couple of well known players off the top of my head, one that stands out is Nathan Peets. Unfortunately, it's a generic Nathan Peets as we get into the Titans here, and as you can see, the highest rated player, it's the young gun, Ash Taylor, with an 86 overall. Coming in at second place is Jared Hain with an 85. The third highest rated player, Jared Wallace, with an overall 84. And then coming in at fourth is Ryan James, the captain with an 83 overall. The fifth highest rated player in the team, Kane Elgie, with an 82 overall. I think our players like Conrad Harrell, Nathan Peets, and Tyrone Roberts are hard done by. Then again, I kind of like that there aren't many players that are above an 86. And in saying that, I reckon the players that I mentioned deserve one or two more points. Alright, so I'm going to let you guys uh, watch the rest of the Titans. And I'll be back to talk about Manly's highest rated players. Alright, so we're back with Manly here, and they've only got four jerseys, home, away, nines, and indigenous. I thought they had an Anzac jersey this year, but I guess it was last year's that I was thinking of. Anyway, as we get into the player ratings, alright, here we go. From the top, with an 88 overall, is Martin Tapao. I thought for sure DCE would be at the top, but he's coming in at second with an 87 overall. In at third place... It's Tom Trebojevic, that's kind of where I expected him, he's got an 86 overall, and coming in at 4th is Dylan Walker, with an 84 overall. Tied at 5th, we have Blake Green and Jake Trebojevic, another player I think that's hard done by is old Jakey, I would have thought for sure he'd be top 3 highest rated in Manly. And here's another person that's hard done by in my opinion, is AP Coruscant, I thought he would have been closer to the middle 80s, and as for Jake, he should have been in my opinion, around 85 or 86. Anyway, as per usual, I'm going to let it run through the rest of the squad, and I will be back.
All right, welcome back. We are with Melbourne now. As we get to the end of the jerseys, I really like the indigenous one. And the heritage one looks pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into the players here. And coming in at the top spot, we got Cameron Smith, no surprise there, with an 89 overall. Tied at second, we got the cocaine cowboy himself, Jesse Bromwich, and Cooper Cronk with an overall of 88. Billy Slater's in at third with an overall rating of 86. Will Chambers and Cameron Munster are next with an overall rating of 84, which makes them the fourth highest rated players in the team. And rounding off the top five with an 83, Nelson Osofa Solomona. Now, no surprises there. That's kind of who you expect to be at the top of the heap for Melbourne Storm. So, who do I think deserves to be rated a little bit higher? I would have to say Suliasi Vunivalu. He's only an 81. I would have him up there with Will Chambers and Cameron Munster, close to mid 80s. Alright, so this is where I'm going to end the commentary. Don't forget to leave a like for more content and as always, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you later.